Muy buenas gente, sean bienvenidos, yo soy su amigo Vir y estamos en otro capítulo más de Genshin Impact Después de haber pasado lo de la Copoco Cabra, se supone que ahora el, el señorito este nos va a invitar a comer Así que vamos a ver si nos invita a comer, vale A ver qué asunto ah, se cuece por aquí ここの天使はジュースのような空気の読めない注文を断るからな。だからお前には酒造談合を注文しておいた。皆様さえよろしければ、行幸様の軍力格のお話を再開いたしますよ。しかし、ここでいう環境と、テイバット観光ガイドに書かれるような酒場の環境は別物だ。皆様ご存知の通り、この港の上には雲上天へ届くかのごとし諸行とはいかなものでしょう。ご覧ください。これこそが行幸様が
正式に出された招待状ですあなたを空中宮殿に招待いたします招待状だってそうです、うん、行幸様はこう言いましたあらのくなんていうのクワルノスポケトラクワルノス彼を連れてきなさい彼に会うわ軍玉閣で彼と一緒に煩雑な暗流のあのカンウっていう使者でもリーユエ七世から招待状をもらうなんてどういうことだお金持ちと会うんだから礼儀には気をつけておこうぜ。ちょっと待って、ちょっと待って、ちょっと待って、ちょっと待って、ちょっと待って、ちょっと待って、ちょっと待って、ちょまあ、総選儀式のことも忘れないでくれ。軍玉閣から戻ってきたら、敵家衆で落ち合おう。おう覚えておくぞ。終わったら、敵家衆で合流し。Bien, gente, continuando con la historia, nos mandaron un sitio、eh, aquí hasta una de las montañitas más arriba, donde vamos a ver lo que es、eh, la cámara de Jare. Y la estamos viendo en este momento. Así que vamos a continuar con la historia. Dice: Está muy alto. ¿Cómo vamos a subir? Dice. Sí, Paimon, como siempre se te ocurren i d i o t e s e s e s b a d p a i m o n s u p o s e d t o b e y o u r g u i d e b u t p a i m o n d o e s n t k n o w w h e r e t h e w a y u p t o t h e j a d e c h a m b e r i s y o m e p r e g u n t o d e d ó n d e m a d r e v i e n e p a i m o n n o e s d e e s t e m u n d o t a m p o c o p a i m o n e h o s e a h a y q u e p o n e r s e a p e n s a r e s e t i p o d e c o s a s t a m b i é n p o r q u e n o s a b e o s e a e s m i g u í a s e g ú n v a a s e r m i g u í a e n e s t e m u n d o y n o s a b e n a d a d e e s t e m u n d o o s e a o e s u n a d i o s a o e s l a d i o s a q u e n o s m a t ó o n o s e n c e r r ó o a l g o p a r e c i d o y o q u é s é s e p e r d i ó s u m e m o r i a o a l g o a s í Ahora te diste cuenta. Ah, mentira. Seguramente, Paimon. Seguramente e r a una forma de subir, obviamente. Hmm. Parece una especie de trampa. No way, just trust by man's instincts. Hmm, me preocupan tus instintos. Siempre me metes en problemas, Pai. Quieres en venta en casa de la chingada madre, va a ir a la berenguena. No, gracias, aún quiero vivir. Tanto me odia. No, Paimon may have just forgotten to think about the safety measures. Estúpida, Paimon. Recuerdo que la balista tenía una cataleja. Oh, that's right. Now that you mention it, we could use the Guijang balista to see if there's another way up nearby. Hmm. Me llevo el cofre. Vale, vamos para allá. Vale, llegamos a ver qué le pasó. Alto ahí. Territorio de Alagrama. Sos una fuera de la cordillera. ¿Qué estás hablando? Estamos invitados. ¿Qué te hace pensar que puedes tratarnos así? No. Espera, tal vez esto fue el plan de Ningguan todo el tiempo. 
She hmm. pretended to invite us to the Jade Chamber, but set up a megalith ambush here to arrest us. No, could have said so. Now Paimon's mad. You over there. This is a trick, isn't it? How shameless. What? We're just on guard duty. What do you mean shameless? What nonsense! Seize these suspicious intruders at once. Well, here they come. Line them up and knock them down. Knock them down. Keep by them. Stop. What's all this about? Oi, Papa! You start Mosura. Lady Coaching. These two strange people suddenly appeared. They seem to have designs on the Guizhong Ballista. Who are you calling strange? You want to go to the Jade Chamber? Who are you? We're invited guests here to look for the Liyue Qixing. Who are you? Well, as it happens, I am one of the Liyue Qixing. Hmm. I'm Kuching, the Yuhung of the Qixing. El equilibrio terrenal. I know of you, traveler. You're Ningguang's guests, yes? Didn't expect to meet you here in the mountains. Wow. Paimon didn't think we'd meet some super rich big shot out here in the middle of nowhere either. The Guizhong Ballista in Tianhong Pass has long been in disrepair. And yet, it was fixed in a single night. I came here to investigate that occurrence. These Millilith are just here to guard the scene, not to arrest anyone. So, this was all a misunderstanding? <laughs> anyway, for a mortal to be able to repair an Adepti mechanism is quite the mystery, even to the Qixing. No compliques más las cosas, Paimon, cállate. Solo fue un ajuste por aquí y otro por allá. Eh? Oh, right. So, Lady Yuhang, might you have any idea why Lady Tian Chen invited us to go to the Jade Chamber? Just call me Kuching. Kuching, Kuching, Kuching. I'd say that Ningguang's purpose is to request that the savior of Mondstadt take a more neutral stance. Or at least, to not wholly side with the Adepti. We're not taking sides. We spoke with the Adepti. They want to protect Liu as well. When you say protect, you're referring to their sanctimonious arrogance, aren't you? Okay. Huh? You are mortals and thus under their protection. There was no way they would have regarded you as someone with the ability to assassinate a god. Naturally, they would also regard Ningguang's locking down the area, questioning the citizenry, and pursuit of the assassin to be pointless work. Perhaps they even wonder if there might be a cover-up. I'll say it hmm. like it is. They're underestimating us. Ooh, well, you've got a there. Still, this is the first time Paimon's seen a person from Liyue who doesn't respect the gods or the Adepti. <laughs> Should I respect the shallow sense of time and condescension to mortals that has caused them to delay in moving against us, Chising? Forget it. I shouldn't speak of them this way. This skepticism is mine alone, and Ningguang does not share it. Either way, I will admit that the actions of the Adepti this time were quite restrained. Rex Lapis's death is indeed an extraordinary circumstance. But to think that they would call for a council of adepti rather how surprisingly civilized of them. Hmm, <laughs> Well, for Ningguang, she would talk anything and everything out if she could. But I doubt we can do that here. The time of the adepti has long passed. If even the Liyue Qixing don't want to face that truth, then what future is there for Liyue? <sighs> Another super bold statement. Sí, como que muy abierta mi amiga. Honestly, I hadn't intended to say so much. But you're a good listener, traveler. You should both be off to the Jade Chamber. Don't be late now. Ningguang's schedule is packed to the gills all the way till next year. 
The cream of Liyue's mercantile crop also is sending to the Jade Chamber as the greatest honor. Each brings rich gifts as they visit, all to curry a little favor with Ningguang. Favor? Eso no es lo importante, Paima. Estamos hablando en serio. But, 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 Vale. Well, that Yuhung may not respect the gods, but Paimon thinks she's a pretty cool person. Mm -hmm. So, what should we give to Ningguang when we see her? Otra vez de oh, right! Paimon dreamed of an amazing snack last night! Sugar frosted slime! Paimon mm. has a feeling that it would be perfect for a super rich person like Ningguang. Why don't we go with that for a gift? ¿Y cómo hacemos esa cosa? Boom shakalaka, of course. Boom shakalaka, laka, boom shakalaka, laka. Let's go gather and Paimon gather. Paimon es una locura. Time waits for no one, and neither will our riches. A ver con qué chuchería me va a salir Paimon en serio. Vale, nos ha dado dos puntos que tenemos que conseguir tres cosas. A ver qué, no, qué, qué necesitamos para que podamos cumplir la misión. Creo que vamos a por este slime. Vale, ya tenemos el slime. Vamos por el de este lado. Hmm. Huh? Suena como si alguien estuviera pidiendo ayuda. Suena como si alguien estuviera cantando LOL. It seems like it came from those room. Uh oh. It looks like the treasure orders have locked someone in. Vale, a la carga. There's no end to this. Ah, me dio la llave, bien. No, no, no. Aquí. Vamos a abrir y salvar a este que está aquí. Pobre muchacho. Mengin. Thank you for your help, kind travelers. If you hadn't come to my aid, I surely would have rotted in this cell. Those treasure hoarders. When their mood was good, they'd rearrange those pots of sweet flowers. No. I was nothing. No need to thank us all at once or anything. I understand. Don't worry. I will comp Don't say that. I only escaped this predicament because of you. I'm Meng Dan, a supplier for Mingxing Jewelry in Liyue Harbor. I often walk around these mountains in search of antique. I never expected that those treasure hoarders would have their eyes on the same ruins that I had. Before I knew it, they'd caught and imprisoned me. No. Is there anything that you lack? Uh, antiques, treasure, very Actually, we are looking for something. Oh? And what might Do you have a box that can store presents? We'd like a pretty one. The kind that you can use to store snacks. Of course we do. How can one sell antiques without gift boxes? At Mingxing Jewelry, we have the best gift wrapping servant. Now just give me a moment, and I'll let the boss know. You can go see her whenever you require. Great! Paimon Sugar Frosted Slime now comes in a beautiful packet. Vale. A guy called Mung Dan told us that we could get a nice and shiny box from it. Uncle Mung already told me about it. Many of the best goods in our store were found by Uncle Mung. If anything were to happen to him, it would be impossible for us to continue. Here, this container is itself an antique, with at least 140 years of history. It's already been cleaned. Okay. Yep, yep, yep. It's great. Hang on a moment. Can we borrow one other thing? Sure, please help yourselves. Traveler, this clay pot looks really awesome. 
If we use an antique as our mixing bowl, we should be able to make a great snack. It's done! Mm. The one and only sugar frosted slime! Carefully now, into the box it goes and dust. Oh, yes. You might want to use these two freshly picked flowers as deck. Woohoo! It looks beautiful! Mmm, la he confitado, interesante. Por ahora no tengo la conciencia tranquila. Now that we've put all that we've got into this box, let's go to the J Chamber to. Vale. According to Kuching, this is Kuching. what we should say. Excuse me, do you sell the moon here? Donas? Yes. How many would you like? It's not convenient to speak of numbers here. Ah, well said. Please, use this to ascend to the chamber. Ah, uh, yes, speaking of which, are you two the guests that Lady Ahora, ¿cómo lo supe? To meet Se lo dijo que ching, que ching. ¿Por qué? Que ching. Yep. <laughs> que ching. <laughs> La cara de tío. The they used was not the one for guests, but for the Yuhang. What's going on here? Sí, porque fue los dio cachín. Se dio cachín, cachín, cachín. Y ahora estamos en Burro, eso sí es una mujer y no pendejada. Oh, su madre, qué hermosa voz. Oh, me la morilla, la quiero, la quiero, la quiero. Since this is our first meeting, um, we've prepared a gift. I hope you like it. Oh, hmm. for me. You have my thanks. Burro, como eso de tributote. It seems that I have made things difficult for you, considering that you were supposed to be my guests. <laughs> oh no, it's nothing. Sí, cuando te conviene. This palace floats in the skies, higher than the peak of any mountain. From this vantage point, one may survey all of Liyue. I have been gathering the funds necessary to build it from the time I began learning the merchant's craft. And since becoming the Tianchuan, I have spared no effort in hiring the best craftsmen to constantly extend it. At first, mm. it was but the size of one room. Now, it is large enough to blot out the moon in the skies above Liyue. One day... I believe it will overshadow all seven nations. Ah, mira, pirra ella. Not many from outside Liyue earn the right to ascend to the Jade Chamber. But I have been in correspondence with the acting Grand Master of the Knights of Favonius. As such, I have been putting eyes and ears out ever since you reached Liyue. What? Hmm. And I finally got wind of your movements when you were on the way to Wangshu Inn. Uh, wait! Was Vergildet one of your people? <laughs> Just Vergildet? Everyone at Wangshu Inn is one of ours. Lol. <laughs> Hace poco me encontré con el oh, At the Guizhang Ballista, yes? Uh, you were peeking on us from the skies the whole time, were you? No, mentira. <laughs> I fear that peeking would have been a little difficult from this altitude. No, los dedotes, lo único que no me gusta. Our eyes and ears are more than sufficient. You two are very interesting people, after all. It would be natural to take an interest. Well, I wouldn't expect you to trust us, considering that you have had far more interactions with the Adepti. The reason I invited you here was to clear up some misunderstandings. I believe that you've heard of the Archon War. Hmm, me suena. Many gods used to walk this earth. And many long wars were fought between them that did not abate until 2,000 years ago. Much blood was shed, and many lives were lost. In the end, only seven victors remained standing in Tevat. They built cities and nations on the corpses of the vanquished, and thus began the era of the Seven. You can see Goyun Stone Forest from here, I trust. It is no natural rock formation. Those are giant spears of rock hurled by Rex Lapis during the war. Beneath the spears lie those cast down by Rex Lapis in those days. Gods that failed to seize the title of Archon. Not only is it true that gods may die, but so too has the membership of the Seven changed over the last two millennia. 
Rex Lapis's passing is an unimaginable disaster for Li Yue. But the Order of the Seven will not collapse simply because of that. Another Lord of Geo will arise sooner or later. Yet, how are we to forget Rex Lapis? When that time comes, the relationship between the people of Liyue and the gods and Adepti will surely be different from before. Even in a new era, the Liyue Chi-Sing remain Rex Lapis's former subjects. Do you really think us capable of having played a part in his demise? Pero entonces, ¿por qué reguardan el suyo? That day at Yujing Terrace, it was also very sudden. Even I was caught completely off guard. You were there, you... But our enemy has long lain hidden within the harbor. If we do not act against them now, they will surely gain the upper hand. Mm. Hiding the Exuvia was a necessary maneuver to take the initiative back. To play the spider while our foes scurry. Who's this enemy you're talking about? What do you think, traveler? Tiene que ser eh? What are you two talking about? Well answered. Uh, uh -huh. oh, the scenery out here is fine indeed. But the wind is a little strong. Our preparations to receive guests within are complete. Be at ease, you two. Make yourselves at home if you wish. Hmm. Can we really? I have invited you two here as friends. And when friends come over to play, our enjoyment comes first. Eso de ahí es... Ooh, isn't this that legendary wall? Why, you Burro, get your ear to the ground, I see. A mi comadre el... Las cosas hermosas. That's because even the storytellers are talking about it. Everyone's after a piece of paper from that wall. It That's because that wall records Leo's secrets. Merchants have always been attracted to secrets. But the secrets of the mercantile world are of no interest to you, are they, Traveler? You're rather special, really, and I think you're quite aware of that. If mm. possible, I'd like to have your trust. But if you were to choose the more trustworthy person between myself and Kuching, entre tú que crees en los dioses y ella, la prefiero ella que es escéptica. No. <laughs> You'd pick Kuching? No, uh, I had a feeling. I originally thought her a bit too hard-headed. With someone of her character on the chasing. I've had some extra messes to clean up behind mm. the scenes, but after she said those words, the time of the Adepti has long passed. If even the Liyue Chi-Sing don't want to face that truth, well, mm. I must say that quite a few of my doubts have been... I won't deny that Rex Lapis's passing seems advantageous to us, but mm. for Liyue's mm. sake, we cannot allow ourselves to be shackled by rumors of our usurpation of power. Indeed. It seems that you understood what I meant hmm. to say from the very... I called for the gag order and for the Exuvia to be hidden to temporarily stabilize the situation. And also to prevent something similar to the incident in Mondstadt. With Rex Lapis's death, the Fatui have busied themselves with many clandestine actions beyond their diplomatic remit. As the Tianchuan, one responsible for Liyue, I cannot be too concerned with appearances when opposing. Allowing mm. the rite of parting to take place was also meant to buy some time for us to take control of Liyue's administration. It's exactly as Zhongli said. The Chi-Sing only provided the venue for the rite so they could use us for their own ends. No, mentira. Wait, that's right. Speaking of ends, could I say one other thing? Con que pendejada me vas a pendeja me vas a salir ahora. Diamond's heard that anyone who sends a greeting gift gets a little something in return. So, does that include <laughs> us? <laughs> it's all right. I like direct people. <laughs> well, we have made quite a bit of trouble for you recently. How about this? Yay! Paima was just waiting for you to say that! Let's see... <gasps> One of the sheets on that wall! <laughs> Don't look at Paimon like that. One of these sheets of paper will sell for crazy prices, even if it's only as large as Paimon's fingernail. Just imagine how much more a whole untorn sheet would sell for. Hmm. Let's grab one, the biggest one. 
Ah, y no quiere más chiquito, quiere más grande. Ay, güey, la bolsa. Muchas gracias a juntas. Claramente Ningo está tratando de llevarnos allí. Oh, you really think so? Well, should we not go then? Mm, no, tengo otra idea. Oh, so you're saying that it's precisely because we can't completely trust Ningguang that we should confirm the truth of what she says for ourselves. Hmm. Hmm. That's way out of Paimon's league. Paimon thinks she's been nothing but good to us. Hmm. Mm, anyway, we'll see if you're onto something. Um, before we look for Zhongli at Dihua Marsh, let's go to the place marked out on these papers and see if the Fatui really are up to no good there. Vale. Vale, ya está. Ya nos podemos ir al carajo. Big Show dice. Bai Xiao dice secretario de la cama. ¿Te puedo ayudar en algo? Hola. Hola. Vale, ¿qué nos dio? Ah, sí, algunas moritas, algunas cosas. So, have you made your choice? You don't have to confirm it with me. Just choose one and take it. Afterwards, why not sit down for a while in the Jade Chamber? Or have a short stroll? Gracias por Come now. There's no need to stand on ceremony. Burro, pero tiene un tremendo burrote atrás. Bueno, digo, es que a mí me gustan las mujeres, tienen que entenderlo. Una disculpa para aquellas mujeres que estén viendo el, el video, pero es que, es que... Es que me puede, como todo hombre. Yo creo considero que cualquier hombre que sea hombre hombre le debe gustar a una mujer que se vea bien. Simple, sencillo. Bien, en resumen, este capítulo nos acaba de decir eh, dos cosas, gente. Dos cosas muy sencillas y con lo cual voy a terminar el capítulo el día de hoy. Número uno, eh, los adeptos están tratando de ver qué pedo está pasando en la ciudad. Porque ellos pues no conviven con los humanos y no los consideran, mmm, no dignos, sino no los consideran al nivel de ellos. O sea, no es que sean malos, es como cualquier dios que conocemos en, 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 la, en, la, en la edad moderna como la edad este, pasada. Es un dios, se supone que es una deidad, es alguien que mucho más elevado que los seres humanos, etc. Pero recordemos que estamos hechos imágenes de ellos. Entonces aquí es donde entran eh, la guardia Geo y, 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 la, y lo que es Ningua y sus guardianes, que básicamente lo que hacen ellos, las siete estrellas, creo que son las siete estrellas del libro o algo así, es básicamente que ellos también quieren pues el bien del Ibe y no les importa, algunos algunos no les importa eh, que los dioses se crean más porque al fin de cuentas pues tienen que terminar su vida en algún momento como todo dios, como todo tirano, como todo rey eh, su tiempo tiene que llegar en algún momento entonces ellos lo que quieren es que eh, independientemente de los adeptus pues se arregle la situación no pues para que ellos no queden mal tanto con los adeptus y ellos queden en control eh, completo de, eh, del Ibe para que realmente se vuelva la era de, de los humanos o del ser humano ya no de los dioses así que bueno chicos les despido yo soy Vir nos vamos a, hasta el siguiente capítulo nos vamos a ir a ver a, este, a marcar a este lugar que está aquí sí, eh, que es unas ruinas vamos a investigar qué rollo y nos vemos hasta la próxima yo soy Vir me despido no sé antes de decirles muchas gracias por haber venido y nos vemos bye uh, ¡Asamble!